Good afternoon, Lace Chapman. I'm John. This is many a true dare to welcome to Thronefall, a strategy buildy horde survival game that crucially is made by Grizzly Games, the same team that made Islanders. I loved Islanders, like the most chilled out, lovely city builder I've ever played. And now they're back with like a minimalist city build and defend thing at the time. Okay, just so you know where we are, this is one of those games that I sat down with yesterday to play for five minutes just to make sure that, you know, it worked properly, and then a couple of hours happened. It's really bloody good. It's also a game that's nice and easy to get your head around, so I am playing as a king. You can tell because I'm wearing a crown. But honestly, what good is a king if he doesn't have a castle. So yes, using my starting treasury, how about we build one of those right now? But unfortunately, yes. One, it's not a very good castle, and I can't afford to upgrade it right now. And two, some people are jealous of my magnificent castle, and they're going to come and try and murder me tonight. Because this game is divided into two phases. During the day, it's a turn-based builder game. At night, it turns into a real-time strategy defensive thing. The core of the day is basically deciding, yes, what you're going to build. Specifically, whether you're going to build more military and defence or whether you're going to invest in your economy so you've got more gold the following day. So sure, we could build towers or troops or whatnot, but no, 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 no. I feel like a king on his own right here with his lance and his bow, which are the weapons I start with, we can deal with that by ourselves. Meaning, yes, instead, I'm going to invest in the economy. Build a house, that's going to generate more gold next turn. Mago Flippinificent just toss you up right there. And simultaneously, we've got ourselves the mill. Now, the mill may look, yes, not as good because uh, it costs more money, but mills have got way more upgrade potential. You may notice the little blobs that appear below it when we're about to build it. That basically means uh, this generates new build sites going forward, specifically fields uh, that generate more money. But even better, you can take your mill in multiple directions. So, uh, yes, upgrade it further, making it better and better still. Or alternatively, the more military style upgrade, a trap mill. We can rig the mill to blow, so if they destroy it, it takes them out with it. But honestly, I feel like we're okay for now. Let's just go for improved plow, work on, yeah, the various economic bits and pieces. So yeah, fields are now really, really cheap, and we want to get them up as soon as possible, but I can't afford it. So okay, how about we, yes, move on tonight, because tomorrow morning, these houses, these mills, they'll start making money for me. And on top of that, these losers might just drop a bit of pocket change too. So yeah, first night is not going to be a problem. My king has got himself a bow, he's got a lance, so just move forward into night. These guys will start spawning in. And these guys are just basic, so yeah, we can wear them down, run in, hit them with my lance. Magnificent, there's a coin right over there. Lance has a bit of a cooldown on it, so just work through that. So yeah, you may notice immediately, it's a bit slower. If there were more than three, potentially some of them might start making progress towards my mill. And here comes the money, lovely. In addition, I also get, yes, points at the end of every day. If I survive, I get some points. If the realm doesn't get burned down like individual buildings, etc., more points still. And the faster I do it, the better. So, okay, on this occasion, we've now got eight coming in. That might be a bit too much for the king to deal with all by himself. So, uh, spend a bit of money on these lovely, lovely fields, absolutely. And tomorrow I might want to, yeah, upgrade my castle. Because that's also a really big point of unlocking a whole bunch of new build points. For the time being though, yeah, let's get my king some help. So we'll just give him a little tower that's going to help out against these guys. Magnificent. And also, on top of that, it's going to draw their attention. So as they come down, they'll be drawn to this rather than to my castle. Because uh, if the castle goes down, that's it. Game over. As for my money, yeah, just a little bit more into a house over here. Can't really afford anything else because, yeah, I can't afford another field. Or rather, there is no other field spot to go into for the time being. So, okay. Move a day forward into night. This is wave 2 of 13. And, yeah, do what we can to wear these guys down. My tower should momentarily. There we go. The tower will help out a bit. But, as you can see, also the castle's joining in too. I'm now struggling to, you know, get through them. So I'm making a bit of money bare minimum. The tower might even go down. That's absolutely fine. It will just be rebuilt tomorrow. It'll just reappear. Though, yes, if economic buildings go down, they won't pay you for the following day. There we go. The tower has gone down. But more importantly, 
yeah, it's bought me time. So just take you out, take you out for two, and with one final attack, there we go. So yeah, the building pops up. I don't get as many points as I would have done, because the building did go down, which is unfortunate. But I didn't lose any of my economic buildings, which is kind of key. Tomorrow, however, we've got something new coming in. Those are rolling death balls of death, which will basically barrel straight towards your castle and destroy it. So, um, okay. Here's what we need to do. One, upgrade my castle immediately. And once again, there are upgrade paths. So, uh, yeah, give myself a way more attack damage and way more health. Or alternatively, a way more economically, a bit more health for me. No more attack power. But my houses get automatically upgraded to level 2. Even more money. We're gonna take it. Because, uh, yes, what we need to do right now is defend the castle. Four coins uh, will get me a lovely barricade uh, right here. Enemy can't get to the castle until they've battered their way through the doors. Probably for the better. Absolutely, though. Okay, do we have... Uh, no. I don't have any more fields I can unlock, so that coin can't do anything. Right. Move forward into night. This is going to be fine. Here we go. These guys coming in. My towers are going to uh, help out. And you're also uh, hunting me. I'm going to be honest, I didn't realise there were these guys coming in. That That's a surprise to me, actually. I kind of missed that. Yes, they will come in from, like, multiple directions simultaneously. You're trying to hunt me. That's absolutely fine. Okay, the tower's down, but that's a okay. All right, it's going to be fine because these losers can't get past the gate. It's going to take them a long time to cut through the gate. Just take you out. The bow will fire constantly. The lance is just on a bit of a cooldown. That's what's on screen at the moment. Down you go, you stupid losers. Okay, we're fine. But, like, start paying attention to the fact that enemy are now coming from every direction. And I do mean literally every direction. Okay, that's um, eight archers uh, coming from every side. This is now too much for me to deal with, uh, so it's time for me to start recruiting troops. And when you do build a barracks, you can pick what it's going to be producing. So, uh, knights, versatile warriors, uh, very slow, but also well armoured. So archers just can't really touch them. Alternatively, spearmen, very fast, very strong, good against fast enemies like cavalry, obviously, slow those guys down, but very bad against range units. Meanwhile, flails, they can take out big crowds and nice and easy, and uh, honestly, yes, under the circumstances, uh, we're going for knights. Though, they're not mounted knights, they're like, you know, foot knights. So when I say they're slow, uh, bloody hell are they slow. Uh, and yeah, I can control them. Kind of like Pikmin. It does remind me of Pikmin a bit. So uh, yeah, I can just, you know, uh, go over to them. Uh, then just say, right, you guys stay here. Then they'll just start moseying wherever they want to mosey in a second. Uh, alternatively, if I collect them and then hold down X, I can say, hey, hold your current positions. Do not move under any circumstances. Better for if you're controlling archers. These guys, uh, yeah, best thing I can do is probably just start them about here. Maybe say you guys deal with, uh, yeah, those archers uh, and those archers. Uh, and I'll try and deal with these archers. But I've still got nine gold. So uh, we always want to have at least one spare level one house. So that, yes, my castle can upgrade it. I've already got one of those, so that's okay for now. And now my castle's level two. I could, if I wanted to, yeah, make my towers a level two as well. I feel like what we're going to do is, yeah, we're going to upgrade this here mill to the next level, opening up a whole bunch of new field slots. Lovely. So that's going to generate a load of money right there. Can't afford a, yes, another tower. Maybe I should have gone for another tower, but that's a mill. Okay, that's a really exposed mill. That would be a dangerous mill to build. This here could be a good trap mill, potentially, going forward. We'll have to see about that. Instead, yeah, just put down another house, because that's literally going to pay for itself in two days. So, okay, you guys, you go and deal with the north, I'll deal with the south. Though, yeah, archers is a little bit trickier for me to deal with, because uh, they've got bows too. Now, my bows are slightly, you know, better range, but you may notice, yes, they've actually got um, homing arrows. That's a thing they've got, though they can't actually, yes, get on top of me when I'm sprinting, which I'm allowed to do as long as I'm at full health. The moment I'm not full health, I can't do that anymore. So, okay, we're doing pretty well against these guys. My knights are doing a competent enough job, or at least, you know, uh, they're buying time. These guys are doing well right over here. Just get into the middle of them and start doing some good work. Yeah, if troops get killed, uh, they'll just respawn going forward, like, you know, uh, from the lovely, lovely barracks where they came from over here. So just take you out over there. How are you guys doing? Uh, okay, you guys, uh, three of you went this way. Hang on, we'll just let you die, actually, if you'd be so kind in just one 
second. He goes down, and no one starts spawning in. Getting over there. Hit you. Tower should be able to deal with this. Okay. The knight absolutely slaughtered those archers. No trouble whatsoever. So, we've already got a good amount of money. And on top of that, the new farms, the new houses, they're paying for themselves. So, okay. Next up, we've got... Yes, hang on. You're slightly bigger, nastier, tougher enemies, I believe. So now is arguably, yes, not the time we want to be building new mills out here. We instead would prefer to be maybe considering, yes, expanding our defences a bit. Oh, now this'll do the job right here. One archery ranger for just a four coins. Yeah, I'll take that. So, uh, longbows. Very good range, but fragile. Good, of course, for hiding behind walls or other units. Crossbowmen, meanwhile, are very, very strong and also, you know, pretty tough. They can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against other projectiles as well. But, uh, yes, they're not going to do well against flying units because the enemy is going to have flying units soon. Don't you flipping worry. And on top of that, yeah, when we say low range, we really mean low range. I'll go for longbow. Longbow will be absolutely fine. And, yes, I can upgrade this place if I want to right up to the next level. So, okay. I'd rather not sacrifice my mill. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you guys are going to hold your position right there. And you guys, given your entire job is to be tough and tanky and whatnot, you're going to come down and protect them. So here we go. Knights are now going to guard this tiny bridge that these guys have to come in through. And the archers are going to be behind them, holding their position. So you guys right over there. This tower... We're going to upgrade that up to a level 2. Uh, magnificent. And I've still got plenty of money. I'm going to say uh, one more tower right over here. And then we're just going to have a whole bunch of houses. Though, to be honest, actually, would this maybe be a good time for... No, John. That would be a terrible place for, like, you know, a mill. It's just not a good mill spot. I'm going to say, yeah, it's time to put up a little bit of basic defense against the walls here. So two towers are guarding the entry point to the castle itself. One more house, two. Okay. We're going to see how well this goes. Because I'm not convinced my troops are necessarily going to do the best job here. So you guys getting over here. And, uh, okay, the problem we've got is the knights are way, way, way too slow. But that's fine. That's all absolutely fine, because we have got plenty of towers uh, doing the job already. The knights are... Okay, I should have left the knights by the gate. Because as it turns out, the knights are... Right, this is... This could be a problem, actually. This this could be a major problem. The gates aren't going to last forever. When they go down, the castle is going to be very vulnerable. And the knights are taking a long time to make it back here. But thankfully, the gates are just... Just about holding... Okay, guys, I feel like that didn't go as we were intending. But bare minimum, I am now swimming in a whole bunch of money. Okay, what's coming up next? Archers and also, yeah, normal troops. So, okay, now we're getting into the mixed army compositions. Okay, what I want is, yeah, just a giant pile more troops just to clog up that bridge. Because I think the core idea theoretically could work here, okay? With eight of you, we're bringing you down here. Because these guys, they don't just rush the gates. They will engage units that they happen to see in front of them. So you guys just stay right over there. Archers, you're with me too. Everything else put into economy. Just a non-stop houses, though... That's definitely getting a little bit too crowded, meaning we've now got no choice but to build houses outside the walls. And obviously those guys are a lot more vulnerable. Still, this many troops should be able to deal with what's coming in at the moment. So yeah, just uh, lay down the fire as best we can. Take out one or two. My knights are going in. I'm drawing a lot of attention to. Okay, now this is more flipping like it, okay? Now we've got a proper scrum. My archers can do a really good work right over here. Though, yes, my knights are not the best at dealing with the little infantry. They can take a giant pile of bow attacks. So I'm just going to go into the back line. Just start doing some damage over here. These guys are mostly being distracted by my soldiers and aren't going to be able to do much. So just getting over here, take you guys out one by one. And eventually, yeah, I think my knights are going to be worn down. But like by the time they are worn, more knights just are ambling in step by step. And two, their infantry line has collapsed. It's now basically nothing but archers. And I think my archers do outrange theirs. They're all oh, blimey. Okay, what's your own health there, John? Yeah, more knights coming in. And yeah, they're going to be absolutely slaughtering the archers. So okay, we're fine for now. We're holding nicely. 
Okay, following morning. I've already made a whole bunch of money just from people dying. And on top of that, okay. Now all of a sudden, we're looking good in terms of economy. And I'm pretty sure, hang on, that's flyers coming in from this direction. So, okay. Step one, it's time. Upgrade the castle because that lets me expand the entire town out in this direction down towards the southeast. And on top of that, okay. Make myself a way, way better at murder. Or units moving faster while I command them. Because yes, there's nothing to stop me taking control of units and moving them during the fights. And on top of that, yeah. Turn a bit more damage output and uh, I can heal allied units. I'm going to take Royal Mastery. So I'm tougher and also I'm doing more damage. And yeah, we finally opened uh, a lovely giant new opportunity to expand. And like seriously, it's an entire new level. We can start putting a citadel together here. And uh, more barracks as well. But I'd say for the time being with uh, flyers coming in, best thing we could do would be... Yeah, just uh, more archers. So we've now got a giant pile of archers uh, right here. So you're going to start over here. And just in case you guys can do something, you can just mosey in this direction too, uh, if you'd be so kind. So bear in mind, I've also got a bow. So like, you know, uh, tonight I can actually be useful. Uh, Alright, time starts passing. Towers would work too. Oh yeah. Okay, so my investment in longbow, that is working very nicely tonight. My archers can deal with this. No trouble whatsoever. They are being shredded though. I think these guys are like, yeah, firing downwards from above though. Oh no, my fields! Not my fields, you... They got a couple of my fields. What a bunch of bastards. And, uh, okay. So you'll see here, the fields are about to pop up. Obviously, if they were destroyed last night, they don't pay you today. But it's still, you know, a pretty good solid amount of money. Coming up tonight, 30 regular troops coming from, yeah, the path over the river. Meanwhile, okay. So the roly chaps who just want to beeline straight for the castle, together with... Uh, is that flyers or is that just... Yeah, slightly tougher troops that hunt me. I don't think that's flyers, so okay. Okay, okay, okay. Three gold, uh, let's just uh, reinforce the barricade over in uh, this direction. On top of that, I'm willing to pay five uh, for you to be a bit better too. Uh, and now the castle's level three, that means various buildings can be level three as well. Uh, in particular, yeah, 15 gold uh, for an ultimate mega tower that also has its own upgrade path. I'll pay another three to get, yeah, this set up right here. And this just opens up more tower slots too. In fact, loads of them uh, if that's what you want. We could just be swimming in towers on the front door. For the time being, I feel like, yeah, I don't necessarily need that, I would say. Instead, I'll pay four for a new barracks, because that means a new type of troops. Once you've built a barracks, yeah, if you upgrade it, it just makes more of the same type. So I'm going to say spearmen on this occasion. So you guys, you're going to be right over here, defending us against these guys up here, while the archers do the work. Most of my knights, meanwhile, you guys did, yeah, pretty good work against these basic lads uh, down over here. So I'm going to send most of you to uh, right here just to defend the front door. And then we'll go for four archers uh, to defend you as well. You guys can just be here. The other four archers, uh, together with, yes, I think like one remaining knight, you can be right here. Though actually, you know what, guys? You actually uh, hold right here. I want my archers to hold this position. I don't want them moving. I could in theory. No, I can't afford like an upgrade for the archers for even more archers. Uh, so uh, we're going to upgrade you. So yeah, this is now making even more money. And screw it. We'll wrap up the yeah, structure right here. So okay. These buildings are now completely contained. And I'll give you guys one more basic tower on this corner. So uh, okay. Where do I need to turn my attention? I feel like, yeah, these guys can deal with this down over here. So I'm going to be up north. So I'll just move over to here. Do we can to you guys as spears are running in. And yeah, there we go. That slow effect is really powerful for dealing with those guys. Like They're not doing much damage, but they're slowing them down enough. The archers can do their job. So okay, 
This here, this is going nicely. The big nasty lad's trying to knock down the gate. Those guys are hunting me. You guys just taking out all of this. Okay. We've got a bit of a scrum at the front door. But yeah, as soon as this is done, the archers momentarily are going to be able to turn their attention elsewhere. So okay. You guys, you now come with me if you'd be so kind. Just start firing. And now, oh yeah. The amount of fire coming in is way, way, way greater. Spearmen are also way more flexible because they can move way, way faster. So okay. My archers are being a little bit torn apart here. But that's fine. There's no actual penalty for that as far as I'm aware. So, beautiful. Okay. We've now got attacks from literally every angle. What are those guys? Those are flyers, I think. Flyers and berserker barbarians. Are more flyers and even more flyers. Okay. It's time to double down on the towers, I'd say. External towers over here. We've got you guys coming in over here. Okay, you guys are the tough ones. I swear we might need, yeah, maybe more towers over on this corner too. These are basic towers, but you know, they'll do the job for the time being. You've already got good coverage, because yeah, we've got you, we've got you. I could build another basic archery range here. That might go down, but honestly, yeah, screw it, more longbow. Just have a more longbow. You guys stay over here. That's going to be just fine. You can deal with that. My main troops can deal with, yeah, most of this. Like, all of you just over to here. Knights as well, please. Yeah, this is the real problem with knights. Like, they will stand and fight forever. But if they win their fight, good luck getting them to the far side of the battlefield to reinforce somebody else. Because they are not going to do it. Alright, it's going to take them several weeks to get from one side to the other. And I may need to, yeah, help with the barbarians myself because my archers need to be divided between various spots dealing with uh, the flyers. I think, yeah, four can deal with just five of them. That's ten, though. But you've got, uh, yeah, more towers uh, to help you out, too. I'm going to give you a five uh, to upgrade you. I'm going to give you five as well, uh, just uh, more upgrades. Uh, beyond that... Okay. We could upgrade the barracks. Does that get me, like, you know, a unique upgrade? That I'm not sure. I'm going to do it now just to check on that. So, no, just more of them. That's absolutely fine. You guys stay in the middle over here. Then again, John. You've got, like, yeah, eight archers over here. Only four over here. Just leave these guys here. This is now plenty of archers. You've still got six gold as well. Do we really want to invest in the economy right now? That seems like a bad idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, yeah, this here place, this is going to be a trap mill. Because I suspect going forward, uh, yeah, sooner or later, a very nasty attack's coming in. And when that happens, this is going to be one of the first buildings to fall. Still no reason for it not to have a field next to it anyway. So, okay, I'm going to stay roughly in the middle so I can keep an eye on what does or doesn't need my attention. So you guys are okay. You guys are all oh, blimey. Okay, you guys have got a lot of health. Though, fortunately, yes, very often the best thing you can do is distract the enemies so other people get to shoot them. So, okay, how's the situation going with... Right, the flies are basically collapsed over here. You guys are doing fine. You guys are doing fine as well. Please focus on the flyers. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, my commitment to building 10 million longbows, uh, that's taking care of the flies nice and easy. Good, 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 good. We're all under control. Aside from, uh, well, okay, I say aside from the barbarians, and they are tough, but we are laying down a lot of fire on the bastards right now. And give it just a few more rounds, and there they go. Uh, lovely. So, okay, the economy, oh, blimey, okay, that did explode. I didn't see if it took anyone out, but presumably it did. The downside of trap mills, though, is uh, they're literally going to cost you points because, uh, oh dear. Okay. 30 and a barbarian, 30 and a barbarian, 30 and a barbarian. Okay. So, 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 so. Let's, let's figure out how we're going to deploy the troops on this occasion. Number one, we're going for mega upgraded final towers. So, yes, these now get to become one of various things. Iron plates, basically, they're just tougher. Ballista, so increased range, powerful projectiles, a low rate of fire. So very good at dealing with those barbarians and similar. Though, arguably, that should be the ones at the back, because, yeah, otherwise, uh, these ones are going to go down too easily. Hot oil, so shooting regular arrows, uh, also pours boiling oil on nearby enemies. So, uh, yeah, if this tower gets swarmed, uh, it's actually really useful. You know what? We're going for that. That sounds hilarious. 
This tower, meanwhile, being a bit further back, okay, you're going to be a ballista tower. So there we go. You're now going to be way more effective at dealing with those lovely heavy barbarians coming in. And screw it, get me even more archers. So okay, we've now got one a hell of an army floating around. Right, knights, you take up position number one right here. They'll just mosey on over in that direction. You can be supported by four archers standing behind you. That's all a okay. Other archers, yeah, we're going to move you step by step across to, uh, yeah, the other side of the map. Because on this occasion, left-hand side is a-okay. In fact, honestly, best thing you guys can do is probably just hold position right here. Like, don't expose yourselves. You've got good range. You guys stay inside the walls. Over on this side, yeah, we've got a handful of uh, light spears. This is uh, archers and also, yeah, a handful of knights. So you guys just stay here as well. Okay, this is going to be a bit dicey, but I think it's all going to work out, probably. Okay, just in case. How about you at the back? You get to be a stone tower. Like, it's too late in the game for anything to be wooden. I don't know where I might be needed, but I feel like my army can deal with this. So just, yeah, lay down the fire. Archers, okay. They're all focusing over here. These guys are being shredded pretty fast, and my knights are dealing with this. Okay. I feel like, actually, I could just turn in for the night. I feel like, yeah, we've got this. Right, I'm just going for an early night right now. I'm going to do some king stuff, you know, sitting on my throne, etc, etc. I feel like my army's now flipping got this. Oh, and there's that hot oil. I love the hot oil. The hot oil's great. So, okay, just to deal with you, you guys all get hit by the lovely... Okay, hang on, there's... There's a few more troops than I was expecting at the moment. That's all fine. That's all fine. We've got loads of really, really good... Okay, I should have been getting more involved uh, from an earlier point. Like, you know, apparently my kingly obligations uh, were not being properly honoured on this occasion. A lot of stuff is potentially dead. Uh, the gate's looking a bit dicey at this point, but the archers are doing a competent... Okay, a fair bit did get destroyed... Uh, and tonight we've just got, yes, heavily armoured balls uh, supported by 10 million archers. Well, if you guys are coming at the front door, good luck getting in, because it's now made of stone. Oh, and that is a really good point, actually. If we just put, like, you know, a fully upgraded tower right here, and then we turn that into an oil tower, presumably any enemies that gather around this gate... They're ultimately going to end up right next to these. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Can't afford to do it on both sides. Not this turn, but... Oh, you stupid losers. This is going to be magnificent. Hilariously, yes. This is now a good time to potentially invest in some more economy. Because uh, no one's coming this way tonight. So basically... Uh, there we go. Free money. I love it. Just a little bit more here as well. Invest in some more farming infrastructure. I do not forget the needs of my many, many citizens. Don't you flip and worry. So, okay. We've got a lot coming in. This guy's going to explode, but that's fine. He's kind of supposed to explode. It's his job. If anything, I'm going to deliberately draw people in this direction. Oh, dear. Oh, flipping dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowed down by the spears and then 10 million archers straight into the fiery hot pots of death. If you guys want to come this way, that's all absolutely fine. Need to watch out for, yes, the archers, though, because they can shred me pretty fast, too. Sadly, the archers will not be in range of the hot pot, but my knights will be able to very slowly wear them down at the same time as my tower. So, oh yeah, this is going very, very well, I would say. Magnificent. There is nothing you can do to my knights, especially when there are this many longbows just firing in at you. Boom. Absolutely spectacular. Okay, now I can't help but be a tiny bit worried here, which is uh, I haven't actually been keeping an eye on, like, you know... Uh, precisely what night we're on. Because the game gives you one nice, easy, free night before the final night of Doom. And I suspect the final night of Doom might be tomorrow. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's time to reinforce, like, everything. They're going to be coming from every single angle. Beyond that, upgrade every single military building and get everything up to, yeah, the maximum level it can be. Just more and more and more troops, okay? It's all gonna be fine. 
as for the scouting enemies that are coming in tonight, I feel like in many ways uh, we can deal with them. Yes, that's under control. That's not going to be a problem. So uh, that's a nice freebie. The entire economy is now going to bloody hell I am swimming in taxes. So uh, here we flip it go. Now we've got everything from every direction, including for the first time trebuchets or catapults or something. They're going to be coming in too. So okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not panic here. Everything's going to be fine. On the left, that's where, yeah, the attack is uh, the lightest. Like, five archers right here, they can deal with that, no trouble. Honestly, this tower could probably deal with it. So you guys get over here. Honestly, I feel like, yeah, just you. Come and join uh, this group. So, uh, yeah, that's 15 flyers. And then they're in a good position to go and assist on uh, the main front. Because this is uh, 30, 20, 15... Yeah, that's the biggest. The north isn't quite so bad. It's definitely worse at the front door. Right, is every military building already fully upgraded? Not entirely. That would be additional spearmen, which we should do because we can afford to. And at this point, yeah, we've pretty much maxed out everything. The economy has been good. And that's going to be additional archers uh, right there as well. So, okay, that's uh, every building pretty much in great shape. This mill is going to go down. There's nothing we can do to stop that. That's a normal mill, not a trap mill. This mill will hopefully take out some enemies when it goes down. And as this tower is pretty safe and out the way, I'm willing to make this another blister tower. So, uh, yeah, that'll help take out the big scary lads uh, that my regular troops can't really deal with. Speaking of which, yeah, you guys just get over to... Actually, here is fine. You stay right here. When these guys come in the front door, just to slow them down. There are so many towers at the front door, that should be A-OK. -okay. My knights will be deployed, uh, yeah, between the north and northeast groups. They should be able to deal with that pretty nicely. Don't really want them, uh, like, you know, wandering off too much in one direction or the other. They can just sort of stay around here. I completely missed there was a tower slot right here. So, okay, sorry about that. Let's just get you up to uh, stone, bare minimum. So, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure the left can deal with itself. It's the right that we've maybe got some trouble. So we're kind of relying on our defences to just hold this invasion until such time as, yeah, the army has taken care of these two forces. I'm going to stay here between the two nastiest armies. So, okay, they are not all coming at the same time. The attack is staggered. And that means my army is just piling in on this front. That's all absolutely fine. Getting over to here. I'm just going to get around the back and deal with the trebuchets. Uh, now, they're not trebuchets. They're definitely catapults. There was definitely an explosion over there. Possibly that was one of the mills. Uh, okay, flyers now coming in from this direction. Honestly, the towers can deal with that, including my own castle itself. Main invasion coming in from this direction. Army's a bit out of position, but as they die, they will just respawn. That's all absolutely fine. This tower is taking a lot of flipping damage. There's... Oh, blimey, that's the catapults. Okay, catapults are very good at knocking down buildings. They can knock down anything, including fields in, like, one go. They need to go down, like... Now, if you'd be so kind. Uh, right, catapults are down. Uh, more catapults coming in uh, from uh, the south. Uh, get round the back. Deal with uh, them. Just, yeah, use my royal lance as much as possible. Uh, and if we're lucky, okay. More coming in. Uh, there's the northern invasion. Okay, they've kind of been waiting. Guys, I want you over here. Over here, right now, please. Over here, right now. Open fire on this group. They were kind of waiting. Then we've got, okay, we've got north. Never mind, they weren't done on the south yet. Okay, this is... Uh, this is fine. The gates can deal with this. I say the gates can deal with this. We have got enemies uh, in courtyard number one, which is a problem because that's just basic wooden gates. So I have got to deal with that. Right. Oh, dear. They've broken through the side gate too. This is uh, this is fine. The castle, if it goes down, we lose the entire game. A lot of people are dead right now. We kind of lost that one. Okay, we should have reinforced this gate over here. Did not realize that was going to be a problem, but... How are we doing? There's still more flipping trebuchets, but I think this might be the last of it. The army might be broken. It is not broken. There is still lots more going on. We've lost all of the towers at the front door at this point, but just getting over here. If I die, that's game over too, by the way. So, uh, you know, watch my health meter in blue right there. Not sure why blue. Okay. 
this might be the final approach right here. Anybody who's not moving towards the front should be moving towards the front. So yeah, during the fight, you've got to decide when you're going to be, you know, moving forward to assist versus when you need to be going back to make sure you're mopping up any units that aren't doing what they're supposed to do or standing where they're supposed to stand. I think we might be down to the last wave of archers at the very rear right now. So uh, bloody hell, I thought my walls were going to be able to stand against this, but my mistake was not reinforcing. Yeah these walls right here because that almost cost me the game my castle has actually taken knocks directly and that is the last thing you want to see in a karma the various knights slowly ambling in guys get down to the fight please that's what i want you to take out there we go but at this point the archers move in and we have won and that gets me a giant pile of points. And what do points do? They unlock a new upgrade paths in future games. But that's not all either. Because what you've just seen is pretty much the basic game. Alright, that's before we start adding in the setup. So uh, you get to choose your own weapon. If you'd rather not have a bow, be more about the melee instead. And you also get to give yourself a handful of perks. But um, what's way more important is uh, mutators down the bottom. They make the enemy way, way stronger. And as you may notice down the bottom right there, the game basically gives you missions challenging you to complete a particular level under those conditions. And those conditions also give you a giant pile of bonus score. And it's pretty much functionally impossible to get the high score it's asking without several of them on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the next level, the desert level, with all three mutators I've currently got unlocked on at the same time. So okay, the enemies have got way more health. And on top of that, they're doing way more damage. And on top of that, they're going to be dropping gold less often. Under the circumstances, I think I'll keep my bow, but I do get to give myself a handful of bonuses. Okay, I feel like, yeah, upgraded towers, that's not going to be a bad idea at all. And on top of that, castle fortifications. Yeah, basically, we're doubling down right here on the castle and towers are both doing a way better job of murdering my enemies. I do not expect to win this, by the way. Like, not at all, but bare minimum, okay. In the desert map, we have got 10 people coming in on a horseback, but, oh yeah, we've got a lovely high ground path to take them out from. So, build my basic castle. Magnificent. Could upgrade that straight away, because, yeah, I've got a fairly decent starting treasury. And on this map, we've also got gold mines. So, okay, these are going to generate a huge, huge amount of money. They're going to pay for themselves immediately, but over time, they're going to become less useful. So, okay, that's a good thing for the very start of the game, I'd say. And under the circumstances, yeah, I'd definitely say we should have uh, some archers. So, okay. Armoured against ranged attacks, bonus against ranged units. No, take the longbow. The longbow did well for me last time. So, if we just kind of, you know, lay you guys down here, you'll do a good job. I could also build, yeah, some melee troops to uh, help me out, though... Is that a sensible thing to do? And, oh, blimey, okay. There's a lot more we could build uh, immediately on this map, potentially. Like, loads of towers, loads of economy. I think a little bit of economy is... Oh, but then again, we've got the gold mine. No, John, do not underestimate the enemies. They're a lot tougher all of a sudden. So, uh, get you in play. And, yeah, spearmen. So, the spearmen are going to be here. And their job uh, is to basically just stop the horses uh, making it up the hill. I will be standing back over here with a bow. Good luck, guys. And, uh, okay, night begins. Uh, how tough are we talking here? So, fair whack of health. They're a bit of that. No, guys, guys, what are you doing? Guys, no. Da okay, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, right, just slow these guys down as best that we can. And, yeah, this is what spearmen are literally designed to do. So they're going to be doing a competent enough job right over here. Take out this guy. The spearmen are down. Uh, my king just took a lot of damage. Right, spearmen, please get involved if you'd be so kind. Okay, my archers are... They're almost dead already, but then that's kind of their own fault. I should have actually... You know, that's kind of my fault. I should definitely have told them to just, you know, hold position. That's fine. We're going to spawn... There we go. New troops and also plenty of gold coming in. So... Right, what have we got coming in next? Because I suspect we're not going to be surviving very long under these circumstances. 18 guys with swords uh, and 9 rolly balls. 
Okay, if they're all coming from this direction, surely we want to, yeah, just reinforce the gate from here. Anything else coming in at all? Doesn't look like it. Now this time, you stupid losers, stay here. Do not run outside. Take them out when they're going for the walls. And, uh, okay, if I'm a king, I should probably have, like, you know, at least two subjects. Or bare minimum, somewhere for you guys to live. Assuming you don't live in the barracks, I'm not sure. So that's all the money I've got for now. At least we've got a little bit more coming in next turn. And from here, I should have a good shot at these guys. I think I just fell off the cliff, by the way. But that's fine. That's all under control. This is going to be... A-okay. This is not going to be okay. We barely even... Oh, bloody hell. We barely done anything to these guys right now. So, okay. Get to you. Take you out. Archers. Archers. We've got trouble, archers. Okay, this is... This is... This is not looking great. Okay. We're just going to slowly start chipping them apart. The archers are moving in the right direction at this point. Okay, I need reinforcements. Guys, I need some of you to come over here and help with... They were immediately distracted by... Never mind, they're going for the houses now. They're going for the houses. I think we're going to immediately... They're just going for the castle. They're just going for the castle. Stab them. Stab them. Stab them. Stab them. And... So basically, yeah, the mutators, they're, um... They're not nothing. They're pretty vicious. So that there is Thronefall, and uh, it's a game that's not going to change the world. It's a lovely, simple little thing, but that's kind of why I love it. It's just... A really nice, cute, well put together game that's nice and simple to get your head around, but there's plenty of depth to it too. And honestly, I think you can't go too far wrong with that. This literally just entered early access. This isn't even the full game. It'll get added to as time goes by. For the right person in the right mood, this could be a great game. And Islanders made a really good live stream too, in fact, if I recall correctly. So we may well see this again. Let me know if you'd be interested. And we shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the delightful Thronefall. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.